Hey team, Dr. Jack Order here, and today I'm going to take you through T cells and the regulatory T cell response. What I, I've previously taken you through how to induce a T reg. Now I'm going to take you through what do they actually do. And this is actually really cool. I think they are really awesome um, immune cell. Here we go. So they, they do uh, three main things. They do more. I could say continuously i should just put it on a backtrack on all my videos it's more complicated than that there's way more going on um so yeah i'm just going to take you through three main things and three of my favorite things right so here we go we've got anti-inflammatory cytokine release that's kind of boring that's what all t t helper cells do is they just release cytokines to regulate the immune system um in some way normally pumping it up but these guys pump it back down but this is really cool they do cell lysis of immune cells they hunt out immune cells and pop them that's sweet that's so cool uh, but they also block immune signaling using a very clever trick here and so all of these things are designed to suppress the immune response so let me jump into anti-inflammatory cytokine release first so in the thymus or after tcr activation and tgf beta receptor activation we end up with a t-reg right and after that the t-reg will produce two main cytokines il10 and tgf beta right now you've already met TGF beta. TGF beta was the one that could turn a Th1 cell into a Treg cell, and macrophages normally uh, release TGF beta to do that, right? But Tregs produce TGF beta. Now that's that positive feedback system that I was talking about that is so common in the immune response and in biology in general. Um, TGF beta causes the production of regulatory T cells, which produce TGF beta to produce more T regulatory T cells. And this is all a part, this is all part of the exponential biological responses, right? If you've only got a few T regs, but you need a few million T regs, a great way to do it is to have this sort of um, um, exponential cycle where one T reg can generate two T regs, which can generate four T regs, and so on and so forth, right? So that's that positive feedback loop to really amplify up the regulatory T cell signaling system. So T regs produce TGF beta, which can turn a Th1 cell to a T reg cell. This TGF beta could have also have come from the macrophage right there. Now IL-10, that other cytokine, IL-10 is the famous anti-inflammatory cytokine, right? If you go up to any immunologist and say, what is the anti-inflammatory cytokine? They will say IL-10. So um, IL-10 is produced from Tregs. It binds to the IL-10 receptor on a range of cells, including epithelial cells, macrophage cells, all sorts of stuff, phagocytes, um, neutrophils, so on and so forth. And it blocks the inhibition, the production of inflammatory cytokines. It switches them to an anti-inflammatory phenotype. It shuts down the secretion of that inflammatory cytokine. If you ever see this signal symbol, it's like a T in any cell signaling paper or journal, it means inhibition. Arrows mean activation and little blunt ends mean inhibition. So IL-10 inhibits the production of inflammatory cytokines. Okay, onto cell lysis of immune cells is one of my favorite ones here. So um, here we have, for example, a Th2 immune response going on. We've got a CD4 molecule recognizing an MHC antigen, and this antigen has been recognized by that Th2 cell. Problem is, that's a peanut antigen, right? And we don't want an immune response to those peanuts, right? And so this Th2 cell is going to go off, Tell the B cells to produce IgE. The IgE is going to activate the basophils and mast cells, and that's going to cause that massive swelling and inflammatory response that we know that occurs during allergies, right? So IgE is the allergy antibody. So Th2, um, the Th2 cell is going to produce IL4, IL5, turning the B cell into um, uh, a B cell that produces IgE. That IgE is going to bind the FC receptor on mast cells and basophil cells, they're going to degranulate, releasing their histamines. Histamines is where you get the inflammatory response going on, which is why when you take antihistamines, it can block your hay fever or mitigate your allergy a little bit. Okay, well, didn't mean to jump into TH2s that much, but anyway, so we've got a TH2 response going on here. What can happen is the regulatory T cell can recognize that antigen as well and go, no. No, this is not a pathogenic one, right? 
um, and maybe the macrophage is releasing TGF beta, it's not releasing IL-6, we're not getting IL-1 production or any of that kind of stuff. So it, the macrophage knows that there isn't PAMPs around, right? So pathogen associated molecular patterns aren't going on, there isn't cell lysis going on, all that's happened is the macrophage has eaten some peanuts, so it might produce TGF beta as well. Um, to um, generate a Treg. So this Treg has sort of occurred because there isn't those other signaling stuff going on to tell you that pathogens are there. We don't have activation of the pa uh, pattern. We don't have activation of pattern recognition receptors which recognize PAMPs, pathogen associated molecular patterns, or DAMPs, damage associated molecular patterns. So because we don't have those other signals of infection or um, damage, this macrophage probably isn't releasing the other cytokines needed so we end up with t regs going on this t reg recognizes that antigen and what it's going to do which is really cool is produce perforin and granzymes right and we know from the cytotoxic t cells the perforins create holes in cells and granzymes go in and activate apoptotic ca cascades so we're really going to go ahead and either pop or induce apoptosis in the cell ideally apoptosis right so the granzymes are going to do their thing and induce apoptosis, a safe form of cell death. So the cell will then die, so we don't end up with an allergy response, right? So the Tregs um, are helping us. Um, that was a salute. Uh, salute to the Tregs. Thank you, Tregs, for helping us not be allergic to peanuts. And the last thing that they do is they block immune signaling. And this is a clever trick too. So... Um, for a Th1 response, for example, there's just an example. Th1 response, you get TCR activation and IL-12 inducing in your Th1 response. The Th1 response involves the production of the IL-2 cytokine, right? And IL-2 causes proliferation of T helper cells and cytotoxic T cells. Um, and so we've got to have this inflammatory response going on. And that occurs after antigen recognition and IL-12 signaling. What a T-Reg does is it's covered in proteins that can actually bind to um, IL-2. So IL-2 is now binding to the T-Reg. It doesn't activate the T-Reg or anything. It just binds to it. And it's essentially like a sponge. It is soaking up the IL-2 so the IL-2 won't signal to the other T-cells. So it's just stealing the signaling to help calm the situation and tell everyone to chill out. So um, that's how a T-Reg works. Um, that's one of the three ways now, obviously, these T-Regs are super important in cancer or autoimmunity and allergies. If we have um, some cancers, for example, induce T-Reg responses to help hide themselves from the immune system, right? The cytotoxic T-cells want to come and pop these cancer cells, but the cancer cells might have um, indu help induce a T-Reg response, particularly macrophages inside the cancer, and those T regs have told the cytotoxic T cells to go away or even popped the cytotoxic T cells um, with perforin or granzymes induced apoptosis. So um, cancer can kind of cheat and overact your, activate your T regs to help hide itself from the immune system. Autoimmunity is when perhaps you don't have enough T regs going on. And so um, uh, there are a few T cells out there that recognize a self antigen and there isn't a T reg. Now, I didn't mention this, but a lot of your T-reg, um, TCRs, your T-cell receptors on the T-regs are for self-antigens, right? So the T-reg is coated in self-antigen-detecting TCRs that might go up and go, hold on a minute, that is just a self-antigen, I better go turn that T-helper cell off that thinks that that's a pathogenic antigen. So it can help turn off autoimmunity by double checking to make sure whether or not that was a self antigen or not. And if the T reg recognizes that it is a self antigen, it can activate and, um, and kill the T helper cells and release anti inflammatory cytokines. And obviously, T regs are super important in allergies with that peanut example. If they're not doing their job, um, a T helper cell may recognize um, an, an, a, a safe antigen as a pathogenic antigen and induce. Uh, a massive inflammatory response to something that we don't need. Cool. So that was the T regs. Super important. A really diverse cell and really, really cool. Thanks for tuning in. That was a weird sign off. Bye bye. Another salute. Should I just keep saluting in my videos? No.